Hi, yes, I'm out of the lab and uh, I am outside here trying to get the uh, transit of Venus. I thought I'd uh, rush on out and uh, I've set up my tripod here with a pair of binoculars and I've got my whiteboard here and ta-da, the sun has just come out. Look, check it out. Not sure if you can see that or not. Hang on. I can't see on the screen here. It's too hard outside, but you can see there's Venus right there, that very little, very little dot right about there. And that is the transit of Venus. Ta-da! It's still going on. It's about 12:15. Uh, in now, I have no idea how this is going to turn out on the video because it's uh, hard to see on the screen. I'm using the viewfinder, actually, first time ever on the camera. But there's the uh, there's Venus, and uh, yep, the calculations do work. It's supposed to be there, and it certainly is. Good to know. hasn't gone uh, hasn't gone missing. Fortunately, it takes about six hours for it to transit right across the um, surface. So. Uh, I can't get a time lapse because I'd need a tracking, um, a solar tracking thing to get that. And it really is uh, quite hard to get this because you can't actually see it. Maybe you can see the uh, dot over there on the whiteboard, but uh, I've got, you can't see it until I actually get my shadow in there like that, and then you can get the then you can get the gist of the outline. But then I can't put the camera in the way, and that should show it pretty well. That tiny little dot. I'm not sure of the exact, you know, size of it in relation to the uh, sun at this uh, distance, but it takes about six hours for it to transit all the way across. And uh, it'll finish at about 2.30pm uh, today, so it's got another two and a half hours left or something like that. And it's a little bit fuzzy because my, uh, I don't think my my binoculars are that great, but it, I've tried several pairs and it is the best pair I have. But it's not too bad at all. I can definitely see it. Now I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can, there's a shimmer of the clouds. Oh, it's getting a bit dark now. No, it's just vanished. But you can see the shimmer of the clouds as they pass. There we go. It just... Uh, it's really quite nice. This is, I'm sure, not going to work on camera, so apologies. But uh, it really is quite a nice effect, and I can definitely see uh, Venus, even though it's a bit uh, blurred. I'm pretty happy with it, though. So this worked a treat. Once-in-a-lifetime event, the transit of Venus. And you can definitely see it. Little furry black dot there. I'm not sure what's uh, probably the quality of my my binoculars are pretty darn ordinary all sorts of aberrations and things like that but it uh, transits cross takes about six odd hours and uh, can definitely see it. I call this a win. I've got no uh, solar filter or anything else on there that would have helped a nice uh, tracking telescope with better optics and a better uh, a proper solar telescope of course would have been nice but you can definitely see it that's a win